Hey there, viewers! How to help soreness after a workout So you've decided to live a little healthier this time and follow an exercise program. Your first workout went well, but then came the morning and you're feeling sore everywhere. Did you perhaps do something wrong? Did you push yourself too hard? Muscle soreness after a workout is completely normal, more so for newbies. It's a side effect of the stress put on muscles when you exercise. It typically starts within 6 to 8 hours after a new activity and can last for up to 48 hours after the exercise. So what can you do then? Well, there's plenty of things actually, such as getting a massage or using an ice pack, which will be discussed further in the remaining minutes, so stay tuned. Understanding Muscle Soreness Better Virtually anyone who's had an intense workout or vigorous exercise experienced sore muscles for a day or two. This condition is called Delayed Onset Muscle Soreness DOMS. These delayed muscle aches and muscle pain are brought by the tiny injuries in the muscle fiber and connective tissue. Whether you're starting a new physical activity or you haven't exercised for a while, you're likely to feel sore all over the body after the workout. This is simply your body's way of saying your muscles need time to recover. Thankfully, once your body gets used to the new sport or exercise, you'll have little or no muscle soreness. How long muscle soreness usually lasts? The sore muscles that occur after a workout will usually subside after 24 to 48 hours of rest. If the muscle aches don't go away after resting for a few days or have become even more intense, you may want to get yourself checked out. It can be a sign that you've sustained a serious muscle injury. How much is too much? Interestingly, normal muscle soreness is a good thing, as it's a sign that you're getting stronger. Exercise puts stress on your muscles and the fibers start breaking down. As these fibers repair themselves, they become larger and stronger than before. As such, this degree of soreness is nothing to be alarmed about. On another hand, severe muscle soreness can be damaging and dangerous. Severe muscle pain during a workout could be an indicator that you have a muscle strain or muscle injury. Also, if muscle pain is accompanied by high fever, breathing difficulty, muscle weakness, and stiff neck, see a doctor. With those in mind, it's important to know the difference between reasonable muscle soreness caused by exercise and pain due to overuse or muscle injury. The following conditions mean that your exercise was too much. If the pain stops you from carrying out daily living or working activities. If the discomfort persists for more than 72 hours. The following condition means that your soreness is not within the normal or harmless range. If the pain start during or immediately after the experience. Feeling pain during an exercise is a sign that there's something wrong with the exercise. It can be seen as a signal from your body to stop the activity before serious muscle or joint damage occurs. In severe cases, the muscles can break down so much that it causes you to be ill and can even damage your kidneys. Seek medical attention ASAP if you experience any of the following symptoms after a workout or activity that causes muscle soreness. Severely swollen limbs. Severe unbearable pain. Loss of joint range of motion brought by severe swelling. Dark colored urine or decreased production of urine. Don't immediately think of quitting your exercise program because of muscle soreness. Instead, try our best to work through the first couple of days without getting discouraged. Mind you, it'll get better in time and your muscles will thank you later. 10 Methods to Ease Muscle Soreness After a Workout Number 1. Stretch, Stretch, Stretch After a rigorous workout, make sure to stretch your muscles for around 10 minutes. Then, before exercising, remember to warm up with simple movements such as arm swings and marching on the spot. You can also start walking slowly and gradually pick up the pace. Number 2. Try an ice or heat pack If there's swelling of the muscle or joint area and it feels warm or there's an acute injury, Get an ice pack, wrap it in a thin towel, and place it on the sore area. Leave it on for 15 minutes. If there's no swelling and your muscles are simply sore from the exercise, use a heat pack for 15 minutes to boost blood circulation. Number 3. Get a rub down A massage relieves muscle tension, improves blood flow, and increases the range of motion in your joints, relieves muscle tension. 
Not to mention, it's a great way to lift your mood. A gentle massage is always the best for sore muscles. Pick one that uses light pressure like a Swedish massage. This type of rubdown is better for recovery than a deep tissue massage. If not, try tender point acupressure. It's a massage where a therapist applies pressure and holds it directly on the tender areas. Before we continue, a like would be great. Number four, keep yourself hydrated. When it comes to muscle recovery, dehydration is one of the top things you must avoid. For one, you need fluid to flush damaged muscle. The general rule is to drink eight ounces of water every 15 to 30 minutes of exercise. If you skip this, then expect your soreness to feel more intense and last longer. In addition, weigh yourself before and after a workout. If you've lost weight, drink eight ounces of water for each lost pound. Number five, roll it out. Self myofascial release or SMR is a technique for releasing tension in muscles and connective tissue. A foam roller is a common SMR tool that helps move the fluids accumulated in the muscle after exercise. According to studies, foam rolling helps increase the range of motion and reduce dumps. Moreover, it increases circulation to deliver more nutrients and oxygen to the affected area, helping reduce swelling and tenderness. A softer version of a foam roller is a great start. While firmer foam rollers let you apply more pressure, they can be intense if you're new to them. Number six, do light exercises the day after. Never stop exercising completely. The fact that you're sore after a workout is a sign that your muscles have been stretched and are gradually getting stronger. Exercise may seem like a bad idea in this situation, but it's actually not. In fact, research reveals that light activity helps keep the blood circulating and speeds up your ability to drain waste and chemicals linked with muscle aches. On a scale of 0 to 10 for effort, aim for a level 3 of effort. Light exercises such as walking, yoga, cycling, and swimming are good examples. Number 7. Take limited rest. Wait around 48 hours before working the same muscle groups in the same, as in with the same intensity or as for long. As we've mentioned, limited or light exercise can help. Sore muscles need rest, but it shouldn't be a complete rest and immobilization either. Just stay away from intense workouts involving the same muscle groups. Number 8. Eat within a half hour. Feeding your muscles the nutrients necessary to repair and grow back stronger speeds up the recovery process. Ideally, start your recovery with a bang by getting 20 to 40 grams of protein and 20 to 40 grams of carbs into your body within 30 minutes of an intense or long workout. An excellent snack option is Greek yogurt with a handful of berries and a tablespoon of honey. And don't forget about protein, it provides amino acids needed to rebuild your muscles. Meanwhile, carbs replenish fuel stores used up by the muscles during your workout. Number 9. Sleep Later On Sleep is of paramount importance for good reasons. One of its most important roles is helping with exercise recovery. Although it doesn't have the most immediate effect on muscle soreness, it can be useful. For instance, non-rapid eye movement boosts protein synthesis, which is crucial to repair damaged muscles. Thus, during the post-workout phase, make sure to get enough shut-eye. Aim to sleep for at least 7 hours every night. Number 10. Steer clear of NSAIDs Most people are tempted to take a painkiller and just call it a day. Are you one of them? Well, according to experts, you may risk sacrificing key parts of the muscle rebuilding process by doing so. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs like Advil and Aleve may ease muscle pain and soreness, but may also prevent muscles from growing back bigger and stronger. Furthermore, a study found that taking the maximum dosage of over-the-counter ibuprofen stalled progress during an eight-week resistance training program that's designed to build muscle and strength in young adults. So, the next time you have muscle soreness, just follow the things we've mentioned. Let us know how it works for you. You can also share with us your thoughts about this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out, both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.